ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your kind introduction of myself. Uh, uh, as uh, Mr. Sundaram introduced, my name is Tenyang Kim, uh, Executive Director uh, at the Korea Automobile Manufacturers Association. I think the majority is Koreans, so I think I wonder if it's appropriate to speak in English. But uh, anyway, the, I appreciate also Mr. Chang, Secretary General of IECK, for your kind invitation for this sm small group meeting. And today, uh, uh, I would like to introduce bri briefly about uh, the Korea automobile industry and the auto suppliers as well as uh, the contribution to the Korean economy. And uh, I'll also uh, review historically how the Korea has uh, grown to the fifth world largest country uh, in terms of uh, automobile production. And uh, as uh, Mr. Sundaram introduced, I'm in charge of trade and international cooperation and also industry and research as well as the Seoul Motor Show, it was held uh, last month, early, early last month in uh, Kintex. I wonder you visited uh, the Seoul Motor Show. It was quite successful with the uh, cooperation by the Korean local car makers and the suppliers, as well as uh, Mahindra Sangyong. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, uh, I wonder I have to touch about uh, historically about the Korean uh, automobile industry growth during the last 40 years. And uh, as you see in the graph, Korean automobile industry has grown dramatically during the last 40 years. And uh, in terms of production, uh, we had uh, nothing, nearly nil in the beginning. 1975. Uh, it's the year when the Hyundai Motor Company invented the Korean indigenous first mother. Uh, it's called the Pony. Pony, and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, the result of the strong entrepreneurship of the Hyundai Motor Company, and as well as the strong government policy. Uh, the Korean government had uh, uh, implement, implemented uh, the fifth uh, five-year uh, economic development plan since uh, 1962, and uh, the government had uh, a strong uh, policy to develop Korean automotive industry. And uh, with the government support, Hyundai succeeded to develop for the first time in Korean history the, their, their own mother. <clears throat> and uh, also the, it was helped by the strong economic growth in Korea uh, in the, at the time uh, when the Hyundai developed a new car. And uh, during the 40 years, the Korean uh, production has uh, uh, increased uh, by uh, two digits on average. And uh, export also uh, supported the growth of production. Uh, when the year 1986, the Korean uh, GDP per capita uh, exceeding uh, 3,000 US dollars. In most of the case, in the global uh, uh, countries, the, when the uh, GDP per capita exceeding 3,000 US dollars, uh, the country uh, have some uh, new era of the motorization. Motorization means mass production and uh, mass cultures by the consumers. And uh, it's the year when the 1986 Hyundai uh, entered the United States uh, for the first time. And uh, after the motorization 1986, the domestic uh, this this green graph, domestic demand increased uh, dramatically uh, for the following years. And uh, the, when the <coughs> uh, 
uh, domestic sales uh, had some uh, problems due to the economic crisis. The export supported for the growth of the Korean comic car industry. And the domestic sales was at a peak time in the, in the year 1996, uh, when the total sales exceeded 1.6 million units. And uh, when the <coughs> Korea had the first uh, free trade agreement in the year 1994 with Chile, uh, the Korean uh, after the proliferation of the FTAs, after Chile, following Chile, the Korean export had a sharp increase for the following years. And uh, when the uh, Korean industry has suffered twice with the big plunge of the production, uh, the first uh, came in the year 19, at the end of 1990s, when the Asian uh, foreign currency uh, crisis uh, spread to the Korean economy, and uh, uh, we had the, some uh, across the industry restructuring at the time, end of the 1990s. Uh, at the time, the Hyundai Motor Company acquired Kia Motors, and uh, Daewoo Motors also, also in bankruptcy, and the Sangyong and uh, Samsung also had some financial difficulties. At that time, domestic uh, demand plunged nearly to half of the previous year. Uh, but uh, Korea, Korean potential had a strong uh, uh, foundation for the continued growth after the economic crisis. And uh, in the year 2004, is the turning point when the Korean uh, uh, automobiles uh, had a big change in terms of the uh, quality, and in terms of design, in terms of price. Before that, the uh, Korean cars was uh, perceived to be the cheap, uh, cheap uh, um, uh, low-level cars in the world market. But uh, turning to uh, 2004, the Korean car had uh, uh, believed to be the forerunning uh, automobiles in the world. And uh, we did a global uh, crisis, economic crisis, 2008 and 2009. At the time, it is uh, the global, uh, is it, because it is a global uh, crisis, Korean uh, export had uh, some uh, impact with decreasing 20%, but there was no impact to the Korean local demand. So. Uh, after that, uh, the domestic demand is uh, quite sluggish, and uh, the demand is flattening in recent years. In recent years. So uh, this year, uh, we are expecting that uh, domestic sales will uh, stand at 1.65 million units. It's uh, a little bit over the peak time of 19. 96. And uh, the export is uh, expected to uh, achieve 3.1 million units. This is a total registration of automobiles in Korea. Uh, in the year uh, 1986 85, total registration exceeded. 1 million point, and after that, uh, 1997, the total registration exceeded 10 million units. And uh, in uh, 17 years, last year, total registration exceeded 20 million units. So uh, as you see in the graph, Korean market is uh, just maturing since uh, the entering 21st century, and uh, most of the registration is uh, focused on the passenger cars, and uh, the 71% of total registration is uh, passenger cars. Uh, the, we are talking about the ownership, the 
by terms of unit per thousand people. And in Korea, the ownership is uh, 400, around 400 vehicles per thousand people, or 300 uh, cars per, per thousand people. So uh, it's uh, lower than the advanced countries like the United States or Japan. They are showing the 500, over 500 uh, per thousand people. So uh, Korea has uh, some more potential to grow in the future. And uh, I'm expecting that uh, in the medium to longer term, Korean uh, local sales will uh, exceed uh, 2 million um, mark. Uh, about the sorry? Registration. Yeah, total, total yes. registration. Yes. So when a car is jumped, mm -hmm. does it get deregistered? Yes, or it's uh, counted the system of scrapping. Every, when it's scrapped, yes. is it deregistered? Yes, sure. So these to are the total, cars? total vehicles on the road, on the road. <laughs> it means. <laughs> yes. When we scrap, we deduct the numbers. And this is uh, the recent years production and sales. And as you see here, in the, uh, the production is uh, quite sluggish. And this year even <coughs> slowing down, getting decreased. Uh, it's the reason why the Korean economy has not fully recovered in uh, recent years due to the global uh, economic crisis still have some uh, uh, retarded effect to the Korean economy and also um, recently we have an industrial problem with uh, some uh, uh, labor nest and uh, increasing labor cost and uh, heightening environment and safety regulation by the uh, Korean government. It has some negative impact. I'll explain about it later. And domestic sales is uh, 101.65 million units. It's uh, including the imported uh, numbers. Uh, it's uh, based on the sales and not registration. But so uh, it was uh, negligible. The imports was negligible in uh, about 10 years before. But uh, it has more importance for the local uh, car demand and. Uh, in terms of market share, the imported cars took over 15.8% market share last year for only the passenger cars. And this year, I'm expecting um, around 18%. And uh, in the near future, the imported cars will took over around 30%. But uh, it's a quite an amazing, amazing increase for the imported cars. But uh, it's not actually surprising <laughs> because most of the advanced countries like Germany, United States, except for Japan, <laughs> most of the advanced countries have around 30% market share for imported cars. So Korea will have such a, a similar trend for the local car penetration by the imported car makers. And uh, okay. yes. Uh, sure. I'll explain later about your two questions. <laughs> Please wait <laughs> a few minutes. <laughs> so, uh, for the export, uh, it's uh, a little bit increasing, uh, 3.1 million units this year. But uh, we, uh, uh, I think that uh, Korean local production capacity has a. Uh, the fundamental problems because uh, Korean car makers 
have uh, no plan to expand the local production capacity. I don't know Mahindra, but they will have more business in Korea in the future. I hope that they will have some add-on uh, uh, on the, the production capacity in Korea. But anyway, the, because the production capacity is uh, fixed uh, at the level of uh, 4.9 million units in local uh, Korea, so uh, the export and the domestic sales is uh, quite flat, flattening for the, um, the coming years. I do not have any uh, positive expectation for the increasing in terms of local sales and export. And uh, the export amount, uh, as Mr. Sudaram uh, mentioned, the CBU export uh, achieved 48.9 billion last year. And for the auto parts, 26.6 billion US dollars. So in total, the export in, in the sector of automo automotive industry in Korea uh, had 70, 76 billion US dollars. So it's uh, Korean auto industry has a big contribution for the Korean economy. And uh, it accounts for the 11% of export, 11% of tax revenue for the Korean uh, economy. So, uh, and in terms of uh, trade surplus, automobile is the highest, uh, and we had uh, uh, around 45 billion US dollars surplus last year. And uh, if you see the transplant production in the overseas production, uh, this year we are forecasting 4.6 billion units. It's over local production. <laughs> so actually, uh, the overseas production is exceeding local production. And uh, in the future, the difference of the, uh, will be expanded uh, with the uh, more and the more outgoing by the Korean car makers, mostly by Hyundai and Kia. And it's not including the KD export. KD means knockdown kits. It's mostly uh, uh, shipped by the General Motors Korea. And uh, we had 1.45 million KD exports last, last year. Most of the export destination is uh, China and Uzbekistan, Russia and Ukraine. And uh, for the India, our export is uh, very marginal. <laughs> Last year, we exported uh, 81, only 81 units automobiles to India. And uh, most of the exports are <laughs> done by the GM Korea. Uh, GM Korea exported uh, SUV, 75 units of X SUV last year. And uh, for the local demand, uh, the, in Korea, the passenger car account for over 70%. And our export destination is uh, uh, for the last year uh, to North Korea, 36%, and uh, Europe, 17%. There was some North Korea, including United States, Canada, Mexico. North America. No, uh, North America. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking about the missile. <laughs> North America, yeah, 36 percent, and the Middle East, 20 percent. Middle East uh, is a very important market for the Korean car makers because they have uh, oil money, big oil money, and they are importing mostly uh, large and luxury cars, and uh, Middle to South America, not Korea. South America, 11%. And uh, Asia Pacific, 11%. Africa, 5%. It's the share of the export to buy the destination. Oh, yes, please. Yes. Go back. Okay. Yeah. Domestic sales, mm -hmm. does that include in Yes. 1544 includes 160. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then I wonder also on the last slide, 
Mm -hmm. Do you have another slide explaining where yes. this is produced? 4.6 million? Do you yes. Later? yes. Right. Independent. The number is independent. No, no. Uh, yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah, you, you get, you get it. So yes. our global, global production is uh, 9.1 9, 9 million. Yes, 9.1 million. And uh, this is uh, some more detailed explanation explanation on the new registration of imported car in Korea. And uh, in the year 2009, it had only a uh, small portion of the Korean pie, 5.6 percent of the local <coughs> market. But uh, it has uh, increased to three times in six years, in five years. So uh, they increased uh, very sharply in these two years. I think the reason is the free trade agreement. And uh, they had a um, and a favorable market situation um, for the import penetration in Korea. And uh, actually, the Korean market was uh, fully opened to the imports in the year 1988, <coughs> um, except for Japan. Japan cars was prohibited until 1999. Uh, Some uh, product was uh, excluded from the import import allowance uh, because the Korean government had uh, the import source diversification system. Uh, because we had a, a big uh, trade surplus. Uh, trade loss with uh, Japan. And uh, the, another reason why the import is uh, surging in Korea is the foreign exchange. Uh, and the Korean one is uh, appreciating very much against uh, foreign currencies. And uh, when you consider uh, the Korean one against the Japanese yen, the exchange rate was uh, uh, 1,400, even for 1,400 at the time of end of 1990s, after the the so-called IMF crisis, and now it's uh, decreased to a little over 900. So uh, there was a sharp uh, appreciation of Korean won, and uh, the other reason is the Korean consumers' perception has uh, completely changed against. Uh, toward the, the imported cars. Uh, so it was uh, a big issue at the, in the beginning of the 1990s with the uh, United States. Uh, they already, already, always, always uh, complained about uh, Korean consumers' negative perception to imported cars, but now it has fully changed. And uh, of the total uh, 214,000 uh, units, the European cars accounted for over 80%. Most of the European cars are from Germany, BMW, Benz, Audi. It's very strange that uh, Audi is a uh, luxury class cars, but uh, in Korea, it's very popular in recent years. And uh, Japan took over 11.3%, and uh, American cars still have a very low market share. 7% of total import. And uh, this is showing the new registration of electric pickers. Electric pickers means pure electric pickers. Uh, and uh, HEV, HEV represent hybrid electric pickers. I, want, I wonder you know the difference of electric vehicle and hybrid vehicle. Hybrid uh, has two powertrains. One is an uh, engine, the other is a uh, battery, motor battery. So uh, in Korea, it still has the uh, EV and the NEV has a, HEV has a small market share. Last year, it's less than 30,000 units in total. And. Uh, the hybrid was uh, 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 developed in the year 2010 
and uh, electric vehicle was quite recently introduced in the Korean market. And uh, I, I think that the reason why the such uh, electric vehicle is not so much popular in Korea is that uh, the problem of the uh, infrastructure of the uh, charging stations is still very, no, very low in numbers. And uh, the other problem is uh, the electric vehicle's battery, battery performance. If you charge it, it can uh, drive, you can drive just uh, less than 200 kilometers. It's very inconvenient. It's, uh, it's nice for the commuting from home to office, but uh, it's very uh, uh, inconvenient when you think about driving from Seoul to Busan you have to charge it one or more time and it takes five to six hours. You have to wait at the coffee shop five to six hours. <laughs> Who will choose the electric vehicles? <laughs> so it's the reason. So the Korean government is considering how to extend the driving distance with a, for one charging uh, or how to reduce the charging time <coughs> Currently, the fast charging takes uh, five to six hours, but uh, in the future, Korean government is uh, projecting to reduce uh, less than 10 minutes. Uh, because Korean people is uh, bali bali, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> very hasty spirit. So the Korean government is uh, more focusing on the fast charging. Uh, and, uh, all these cars are all these made in Korea? Or yes, yes, imports? sure. All yes. made in Korea? Yes, no up to two, 2014, that's all Korean made. But uh, from this year, imported uh, electric vehicles will be registered by BMW and uh, also uh, other brands. Tesla, maybe. Tesla, no, not yet. They do not have an uh, import agency here. And uh, so uh, Korean consumers do not have uh, full confidence with the electric vehicles. Consumers even worry about some uh, electrical uh, accident when uh, we have a rain or some wet road. People have a concern. Yeah. But actually, technic technically, there seems to be no problem, such problem. But, uh, st still, uh, the consumers do not have uh, full confidence. So the Korean government future plan for the electric vehicle popularity in Korea, and uh, it's a Korean government projection, not industry projection. <laughs> so this year, uh, it's the aggregated number with 1,000 units. So 6,000 units in total will be uh, supplied in the Korean local market. But actually, as you see in the previous table, the electric vehicle accumulated uh, registration was uh, less than 3,000. So it's uh, not practical. The industri industry thinks that it's uh, not practical. But uh, anyway, the Korean government is very uh, aggressive to supply more and more electric vehicles, particular in especially by the Seoul Metropolitan City Government and also Jeju Island or Gwangju City. They are have a more local subsidy for the purchase of the electric vehicles. So in the year 2020, the total number of uh, newly, uh, total number of registered electric vehicles will number 200,000 units. And at that time, the market share will be less than 4%. And the government is also facilitating the speedy chargers and uh, the number will be increased uh, to 1,400 uh, speed chargers, charging stations. Uh, currently at the uh, department store and in public uh, places, I wonder you saw some uh, charging stations, but uh, anyway, still uh, already uh, available. Uh, not so much available, 230 charging stations. Uh, mostly uh, in Seoul and uh, Jeju Island. And driving distance 
is currently 160 kilometers on average, and it will exceed it by every year with the government projection to up to 300 kilometers. And the government has some yes. Uh, can you mention the water central and the city? Yes. I think the, uh, you're protesting water and the stop law from 2018. Mm -hmm. It's a good question. So it's not my project. Prospect. <laughs> it's the Korean government. I mentioned the first. <laughs> it's only government projection. The industry focused, not industry focused. So, <laughs> so it's incentives for the electric vehicles and the hybrid vouchers. And for the we in Korea we have you know we have eight kind of uh, taxis. Uh, levied on the automobiles. We have many kind. I don't know Indian uh, the situation, but uh, in Korea we have eight kind of uh, taxes for automobiles, and the ICT means individual consumption tax, and the acquisition tax, and the bond. That's not James Bond bond, <laughs> and uh, <coughs> the other. Uh, so uh, the national taxes. Uh, ICT and uh, education tax and VAT is a national tax, but the other AT and uh, the other taxes are for local taxes. And uh, for the hybrid vehicles, the government is uh, providing tax cut up to 2.9 million won per unit. And uh, the breakdown is, uh, you can see the breakdown below. And for the electric vehicles, maximum 4.2 million won is provided to the uh, owner of the purchaser of the electric vehicles. And the, the, up to the tax cut, the government, the central government is providing subsidy amounting 15 million won for the pure electric vehicles. And uh, for hybrid vehicle, one million won is uh, will be uh, subsidized for the purchase from this year. So far, there is no subsidy for the hybrid um, uh, purchase, but uh, from this year, uh, one million will be provided. And uh, for as, as you see in the newspaper, plug-in hybrid vehicles, the subsidy will be amounted to six uh, billion won. Um, it's not fully decided by the environment. Uh, ministry, but uh, uh, we are proposing to the government to provide a uh, uh, higher subsidy for the plug-in hybrid vehicles because we are classifying plug-in hybrid into electric vehicles. And uh, the local government is also uh, providing additional um, subsidy uh, based on their financing status and uh, for example, Seoul, Jeju Island, and Guangzhou is uh, giving uh, 3 million up to 9 million won for the individual purchase. So, just a question about yes. the electricity. Yes. Yes. That subsidy, 15 million, is very substantial. Yes, yeah, sure. How much does a typical electric vehicle cost? Yeah, uh, it's a good question. Uh, for example, the Kia Ray or Kia Soul is uh, uh, twice of the normal gasoline cars, around twi twice. So uh, it's around uh, thirty, uh, more than thirty-five million. Minus fifteen. Yes. Minus 15. Yes. So it's actually the providing around half of. Uh, Half of the price difference between the electric vehicle and the gasoline. So, so just, just, just to kind of share what they are trying to, what the government is trying to do is to make it equitable, whether you buy a gasoline. Or, so you are into sure. buying a gasoline yes. or, or, or diesel or, or electric vehicle. So that's the whole idea. Around the same price. Around the same price. Yes. The it's a good okay, point. So that's mm -hmm. the idea of the incentive. But the problem that we have in Korea is these incentives are lottery based. So it is not like everyone who goes to buy a vehicle will get this. 
okay, it is lottery based. There are certain number of uh, mm -hmm. grants that is given. It is limited to a certain amount of money that is in the budget of the cities. Okay, but so if they exceed that, then there's no no more left. So it is not kind of open ended. That's the only Mr. problem. Mr. That Mr. Sundar, you take my. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I, see, yeah, I, 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 we've been we've been looking at this market in a big way. <laughs> you know very well. <laughs> yes. So that's the only problem. <laughs> So uh, the Korean government set up a uh, maximum subsidy amount per year. They set up a special budget for the subsidizing the electric vehicle buyers. So the number is limited, as you explained. But also, if the budget is fully used, no more subsidy will be provided to the buyer. So we have the limitation. This uh, performance by uh, car makers in Korea, and uh, my association represent uh, these five members: Yandae Kia, GM Korea, Sangyong, and uh, Renault Samsung. And uh, of the five, actually three members are foreign owned. And uh, the it's car makers. Employment, production, domestic sales, exports, overseas production. You can see the numbers. And in terms of production, domestic sales, and exports, and the gear uh, account for more than um, 70%. So they have the majority of the, the dominance in the Korean market. And the total employment in Korea by the OEMs uh, numbers 320,000 employees. And uh, the, if we consider indirect employment, the number of workers increased to 1.8 billion people. So Korean auto industry has a substantial uh, contribution to the Korean employment and uh, economy. Did you say 320? Sorry? Employment 320? Yes. For the OEMs. This is 120. Mm -hmm. But uh, you should consider suppliers. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yes. The next slide is uh, interrelations of auto brands. Uh, Hyundai took over the Kia Motors in the year 1999 when the Korea was in the economic crisis. So uh, they are having uh, Ma, uh, the share of uh, the Kia Motors, 34%. And uh, GM Korea is uh, mostly owned by the GM subsidiary companies, around uh, 70%. And the remaining 23% is owned by uh, Shanghai Auto. Shanghai Auto is also the GM unit, Shanghai GM. And KDB, Korea Development Bank, Bank have uh, some uh, market, the share of the uh, GM Korea, and they have, they are also attending the board of director meeting. And the Sangyong is uh, uh, sold to first, uh, firstly at the Shanghai Auto in the year 2005, and then they divorced, and uh, after that two, uh, 2009, Mahindra and Mahindra, with the Sundaram, uh, his company took over Sangha Motors with a, the share of the 23%. And uh, Luna Samsung, is, uh, they, uh, they entered the Korean auto industry in the year 1995. At that time, Korean car makers strongly opposed the new entrance into the auto industry. The, after that, they suffered from the financial problems through the uh, IMF crisis, and they were sold to French, French Luno. And uh, uh, they have some uh, technical uh, collaboration with Nissan Motor, and uh, actually they are assembling the Nissan Rogue SUV model in Busan plant, and uh, the number is increasing. Uh, their export this year increased twice. It's the reason why they are 
assembling Nissan SUV model here in Busan. And uh, the Deo bus is a the division of the bus division of the Deo Motor in the past. Uh, when they, Deo Motor went bankrupt, the three division was divided into passenger car division, bus division, and truck division. So the bus division was sold to a hat, hat maker in Korea, Yongan, Yongan Hat Maker. Uh, it's a subsidiary company of uh, the Yongan uh, Group, and uh, it's called the Jail, Jail Deo Bus. <coughs> they have a good uh, business, and uh, Tata took over the truck division of Deo Motor Company, and uh, they 100% uh, owned the share. Tata has also uh, uh, good business here, and uh, they hope to join my association, but uh, because the entrance fee is very expensive, mm -hmm. <laughs> they gave up. <laughs> uh, the CEO visited me and talked about uh, their intention to join Kama, but uh, they gave up because uh, due to the entrance fee is too much high. And uh, your, your gentleman question about the GM Korea, uh, whether they move to India fully, uh, uh, the, whether they move in the future to India or to China, there are many rumors. Actually, the foreign-owned company is, uh, is uh, not so much stable um, in terms of the, their production basis because the, the global uh, players consider, uh, I do not mention about the Mahindra, <laughs> global players like GM, the, mostly the American car makers, they are very not stable, so much stable in terms of uh, operation for the uh, overseas market. Uh, so uh, if they consider the more and the more uh, problems, local problems in terms of the environment regulation, or safety regulations, and the labor problems, and uh, if they uh, have some kind of loss uh, on the business, they uh, always think about moving out from Korea. So uh, uh, the CEO of the General GM Korea uh, do not uh, agree with their the report by the newspaper that uh, they will, GM Korea will fully withdraw to India or China because actually the Shanghai Auto GM has a better business or favorable market situation there. And India is a, uh, growing very fast in the car demand. So uh, there is a, a naturally such kind of rumors. But uh, if we consider the GM invested uh, a lot of amount, amount of money uh, for the proving ground in Incheon, and uh, they set up the R&D center here in Korea for the uh, small cars, the Spark, the, I mean Spark. The only the GM Korea has the one uh, a model uh, it uh, here here produced and uh, also uh, uh, developed is the Spark only one model and the other models are uh, uh, actually not invented here. So uh, we have we, for our, our association we actually have some concern whether how they will have some uh, movement moving out to foreign countries in the future. But uh, so far, I do not believe uh, the rumor is right because they have a uh, stable business. As you can see, the, they have a, their market share in Korea is uh, around uh, 10%. And uh, in the previous years, the market share was uh, uh, lower than 7%. They are increasing the market share. So I do not believe the, the rumor is uh, the right report by the newspapers. One question about the Kia shareholding. Mm -hmm. Who owns the remaining 66% of Kia? Is it the public? Yeah, Kia has. Public? Yeah, public and uh, yes, uh, the remain. Hyundai is only 34%. This is the uh, auto clusters in Korea. Uh, 
And we have three clusters with a total production capacity 4.8 million units. And uh, this cluster is uh, formed uh, around the Incheon seaport. And this is Kunsan seaport. And Busan seaport, we have uh, three clusters uh, near to the seaport. So uh, Hyundai has the biggest plant here in Ulsan. And they have a new plant in Hwasang and uh, Sangyong Suari plant, Mahindra. Uh, for the Hyundai Motor Company, their production capacity is uh, 1.9 million units. <coughs> and Kia Motors, 1.6 million. And GM Korea has uh, 0 0.9 million. And Juno Samsung, 0 0.3 million. And Sangyong has uh, 0 0.2 million units. This is transplants by the Korean car makers. Most of the overseas plants is uh, uh, established by Hyundai and Kia, and uh, only one uh, small factory by GM Korea in Vietnam. And Hyundai Kia has uh, uh, total 4.4 .4 million units overseas production capacity. And they had the first plant in Turkey in 1997, and followed by India and China, United States, and uh, Slovakia, Czech Republic. And they added by Kia Motors in the United States and uh, Russia, quite recently Russia, and uh, Brazil, and uh, another plant in China. So, uh, uh, Hyundai, in recently, Hyundai is uh, announced their plan to have the fourth and the fifth plant, plant in China. They will add around 600,000 units to the plants in China. So their total production capacity by Hyundai and Kia will exceed uh, 2 million units. So it's the biggest uh, overseas plant. And in Mexico, in Mexico, Kia Motors recently uh, had uh, some kind of MOU with the Mexican government to set up a new plant in uh, Mexico with a production capacity 300,000 units. Most of the case, one factory has the unit production capacity of 300,000 units. So for example, in India, 600,000 units means uh, two factories. Well, three factories. So with the expanding production in the overseas, from the year 2012, the overseas production exceeded the local production. So last year, the overseas production accounted for more than 55% of global production by hand and gear. So the Korean car makers' global production in total numbered for, uh, for the year 2014 uh, 8.94 million units. And of that, uh, Hyundai Kia Auto Group took over uh, account for 8 million units, a little over 8 million units. So Hyundai Kia is uh, the fifth largest car maker in the world. I'm sorry, the wrong number here. Please collect, correct it uh, according to the figures. And uh, I'm answering to the suppliers in Korea. And total numbers in the year 2013 is not updated yet. So around 900, it's for the first tier suppliers. And most of the suppliers are small and medium um, companies. The norm, the standard for the uh, small and medium companies are here. 300 employees or 8 billion won um, for the capital. And uh, below you have the table for the turnover for each car makers. The Hyundai and the Kia do not include the overseas turnover. It's a local turnover. And the, of the turnover, the contribution by the suppliers. Uh, suppliers, it means the suppliers turnover, actually. So it accounts for 
53%, for example, for Hyundai Motor Company, and uh, Kia Motors 62.6%. So it's the contribution by the suppliers <coughs> for the OEM's turnover. Uh, but the GM Korea and uh, Renault Samsung has less than 50%, and it means that uh, those companies are uh, sourcing from the overseas more than local. Uh, so uh, uh, Renault Samsung is actually uh, importing um, the majority of the auto parts from Japan, for example. And the GM Korea uh, is actually have the headquarter um, policy to procure more auto parts from the overseas. So they are expanding the global sourcing. It's the number of suppliers by each car makers, around 300, except for Runo Samsung. And uh, uh, this graph is showing the single suppliers or multiple suppliers. Single suppliers means that uh, exclusively supplying to this company. For example, for Hyundai Motor Company, 20, 29 suppliers are exclusively supplying to Hyundai Motors. So uh, for the Ssangyong, uh, 56 suppliers are supplying, providing the auto parts only to Ssangyong. The red, red bar is uh, the number is uh, means that the multiple supplying system. So in the past, uh, Korean OEM and supplier has uh, vertical relations, and they are most of the suppliers pro su provided the the auto parts to their mother company. But uh, in recent years, they are uh, they are providing multiple OEMs. More, more than more and more multiple supply system. So single suppliers numbers of 435 companies. The ratio is 17.8 uh, percent. And the investment investment into foreign countries by uh, Korean uh, suppliers, and uh, most of the investment is. Uh, done by to the China uh, because the China is the biggest uh, production capacity by hand and gear. So uh, uh, in China, Korean suppliers had uh, 250 uh, factories. And uh, most of the case, the Korean car makers uh, when uh, invest in the foreign countries, they accompany with the local first suppliers. Um, the, usually the 15 or 20 major suppliers going out together with the, the OEM makers. This table is uh, showing the foreign direct investment by uh, into the Korean market. Uh, the biggest uh, investment is done by Japan. Japan. Uh, the Japanese suppliers had some uh, Concern with the unstable uh, their territory, <laughs> with the, after the the tsunami at the end of 2011, they looked for the stable um, supply uh, site for the the OEM producers, and uh, they moved to Korea in much number, uh, in big number, and uh, 97 <coughs> companies, Japanese suppliers invested into Korea. And uh, <coughs> the shareholding uh, over 50% account for 65% um, or 187 companies. And this is the list of the uh, foreign suppliers who invested into Korea. Most of the Japanese uh, suppliers uh, entered into Korea in joint venture with the local suppliers because the, when they invest 100%, uh, the Korean supply system is uh, very complicated and uh, they have uh, most usually difficulties in uh, uh, finding supply chain uh, to the OEM. So 
they have uh, had uh, some joint venture with a local partners. Uh, Korea has uh, many tr free trade agreements with the foreign countries. Firstly, initiating 2004 with Chile, and uh, we have uh, already 11, 11 FTAs, and uh, most of the major trading partners are in the network of FTA, and uh, we are fully, Korean car makers are fully utilizing the free trade agreement system. And uh, uh, we have the import tariff 8% for passenger cars and 10% for the commercial vehicles. And the Korean tariff rate is uh, the very low level except for the United States and Japan. Japan is zero tariff. United States have 2.5% for passenger cars. But uh, with the United States, uh, they will fully eliminate their tariff from uh, next year. It's not fully implemented. But uh, with the recent uh, uh, FTA with Australia and uh, Canada, Korean car makers have uh, some favorable export environment in those countries. And uh, we have concluded with uh, four countries, uh, Colombia, China, New Zealand, Vietnam. And uh, we are undergoing the multiple FTAs, uh, Korea, China, Japan, and uh, RCEP. And also Korean government is considering to join the TPP. And uh, I think that uh, Korean local car makers have some concern with the, the liberalization of the import with the increasing number of imported cars. But uh, I think that uh, opening the market is very important for getting competitiveness in the global market. And uh, so uh, the Korean car makers could adapt from the early stage to the global competition and uh, we could uh, strengthen our industrial capabilities, not only the OEM makers, but also suppliers. And uh, the, it is a uh, very important uh, um, turning point for the Korean car makers with uh, the uh, proliferation of the FTAs. Korean car makers could get uh, more competitiveness and uh, more strength to overcome the difficulties stabilizing in recent years. It has some uh, favorable uh, impact to the Korean car makers, but the economic slowdown and the increasing household debt and the labor nest, the increasing the labor cost, it has some negative impact. For the outside, uh, the recovering global economy is uh, favorable for the car makers, Korean car makers. But uh, as I already explained to you, the appreciation of Korean won, Korean currency, has some negative impact to the Korean car makers. And the FTA with the EU, United States, Canada, Australia has some providing new opportunities for the Korean car business in the overseas market. And uh, we have also market factors. Local demand is uh, recovering, and uh, new models is uh, releasing, will be releasing at the second half of this year in, in large numbers. And uh, imported cars are taking more and more pie in Korea. It's uh, some negative. And technical factors, Korean, all the negative factors is uh, very uh, strongly impact uh, Korean car makers. We have uh, more and more R&D burden, burdens for the eco car development and the fuel efficiency regulations and the safety regulations as some uh, financial burden for the development of the new technologies. Uh, on the other side, the EU and the US market is improving, and uh, the Korean car brand and quality is improving. It has some positive impact. And slowdown of the emerging markets, like the South America and uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, currently, we have a big drop in imp export to those countries. And uh, competition in the development of low-priced cars by the global players and uh, 
most of the advanced countries CO2 regulations has a uh, negative unfavorable, unfavorable conditions for the Korean car makers. And technical harmonization is some favorable uh, impact. So uh, I wonder I took too much time for the, <laughs> the whole uh, expression. I promised uh, it should be short, but uh, it's too long. I'm very sorry. I hope that uh, my uh, presentation will be provide you some insight and some uh, information about the Korean automobile industry. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer it.